an ounce. Staff Sergeant Reckless. I'm Jim Fugate, and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. The career of Staff Sergeant Reckless with the United States Marine Corps began in 1952. This soldier's heritage went back to an unlikely origin, Mongolia. A bit smaller than most, but smart, tough, and fast. Sergeant Reckless was proven in battle during the Korean War. Reckless was assigned to a recoilless rifle platoon, anti-tank company, in the 5th Marine Regiment, and took on responsibilities in what we would now call logistics. The sergeant moved supplies and ammunition to the front and evacuated casualties. In March 1953, Sergeant Reckless performed outstandingly well during the battle for the outpost of Vegas and was promoted to corporal. During that battle, Reckless made 50 trips to the front, carrying critically needed supplies in and wounded men out. During the battle for Outpost Vegas, fighting was so fierce that only two men made it out alive and without wounds. Reckless was wounded twice, but kept going. The sergeant continued to move material and wounded in spite of the fact that there were no vehicles available and the trail was difficult and even treacherous. Reckless continued in frontline service with the Marines to the end of the hostilities in 1954. At the end of the Korean conflict, Reckless was promoted to sergeant, and in 1959 to the rank of staff sergeant. An amazing record, including major combat operations, facing enemy fire, and keeping fellow Marines in the fight. And considering Sergeant Reckless was female, it's amazing she was even in combat in the 1950s. Some say that maybe she should have never been there, but her performance under fire had nothing to do with gender or species for that matter. You see, Sergeant Reckless was enlisted, promoted to staff sergeant and decorated with a purple heart with one gold star, a presidential unit citation with one bronze star, a Navy unit commendation, a Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal, a National Defense Service Medal, a Korean Service Medal with three bronze stars, the Dickin Medal, a Republic of Korea Presidential Unit Citation, and the United Nations Korea Medal. Staff Sergeant Reckless was an incredibly intelligent and courageous horse, a Mongolian breed mare with a warrior's heart. Originally a racehorse, she was purchased by the U.S. military from a racetrack in Seoul and then trained as a pack horse. Reckless need only be shown the route once or twice, and then she had it without supervision. She would travel the route, facing enemy fire for as long as she was able to carry the weight of the weapons, ammunition, and wounded. Staff Sergeant Reckless was retired to Camp Pendleton with a standing order, and she was never to be asked to carry anything heavier than a horse blanket. This amazing mare, marine, and hero passed in 1968 at the age of 20. The lives of many a soldier were spared by the service of this amazing animal. So here's the ounce. I have not worked with horses, but those who have tell me that they are wise and cautious animals, and also loyal partners and friends. But the idea of having a horse that would make one trip into an active combat zone is a bit iffy. And 50 trips into a combat zone where artillery shells are falling at the rate of 500 per hour is pretty much impossible, especially if they've been wounded already. And humans wouldn't do it either. This mare was extraordinary. The life of Reckless is an illuminating example that it matters not who or what you are. Sometimes you have to gird up your loins and choose to have a warrior's heart. And when you serve with all your heart, it makes a difference. That's it, an ounce, submitted for your consideration.